Welcome to the Brazier Brunch. <laughs> I'm excited for this episode. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Um, first of all, we want to address the new decorations behind us. I don't know oh, yeah. if you guys have noticed. I don't even know if you can see the snowflakes above us. Maybe there the shadows of them. But we have snowflakes in our place. It's this snowy. Snowing. It's snowing. But I had my Gilmore Girls party yesterday. Yeah, you had it yesterday. Saturday. So that was really fun. That's why there's decorations behind us. We had a bunch of food. Oh my gosh. I still feel stuffed from it. Yeah. Like it was so much. We I had... still feel gross from it. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. We had Chinese tacos, pizza, chips, salt and vinegar chips. They're so good. Twinkies, donuts. Powdered donuts, sugar cookies. Ice cream. Cookie dough ice cream. What, what else? else? Uh, Dr. Pepper. Cake. I had cake. A, oh, I had a chocolate raspberry Nutella cake. So good. What else was there? There was a lot. Yeah, there was more stuff too, which Pop Tarts. Gross. Pop Tarts. <laughs> So much. <laughs> but that that that's what Lorelai and Rory Gilmore Gilmore. Gilmore. Do. Yeah. So it was really fun. Right. But today we are talking about I don't know if you have ever seen any other podcast, but they do segments that they read articles and it's basically like, am I the a-hole? Like, am I the jerk of this situation? So we're doing that today. We're reading out scenarios and we're discussing like, is this person in the wrong or, or were they, were they right? Yeah. Were they valid? Yeah. All of these stories are from Google, my reliable source. I think they're <laughs> actually from like Reddit. <laughs> oh, that's reliable. You stoop, you stoop lower than Google. I think I did. I think I did good. Oh, no, you did. You did. I did great. Yeah. As far as reliability. <laughs> That's how you know it's going to be good. It's going to be entertaining. It might not be completely factual. Factual or whatever. It'll be entertaining. That's, That's what we're idea. going yeah. for here. So we're going to jump into it. Are you ready Let's for this, Raymond? Jump into it, baby. Yeah. It's actually kind of fun because I looked up all the stories and Raymond has no idea. No clue. What, what these Pretty are. Pretty much my whole life. Kind of just no idea. Clueless. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This the title of this one is called the milk swap. Terrifying title. Okay. So it starts out: Me and my two other guys share an apartment together, and we split all the bills. The only thing we don't split costs on is groceries. Everyone's in charge of buying their own food, and we don't touch whatever doesn't belong to us in the fridge. We put our names on everything, so no one gets mixed up. This issue has been going on almost a year, and I'm sick of it. Okay, but the thing Putting is, names? yeah. Well, Why? maybe he's talking about oh, this issue. issue. About. That makes sense. That makes okay. Sense. One of my roommates, R, keeps stealing my food. I get home from work, and containers with my leftovers are sometimes missing. They have my name written on them, or my stuff finishes too quick. My gallon of milk, for example. I buy almond milk because I like the taste, but it seems to finish after a week, even though I've only drank once or twice. I confronted R about this lots of times. Um, that's caused a lot of arguments. He outright denies it and tells me I'm crazy, even though it's so obvious. My other roommate and I carpool together because we both work the same early morning shifts around the same area. So I know it's not him. It's always after we get back home and ours already left for work that I notice my food's gone. My roommates. Sorry, real quick. So the one roommate that he is in sus about goes to work with him. Yeah. So And R stays there and then goes to work after. Yeah. And that's when he notices milk is gone. gone. Is when he gets back from work. When he gets back from work. Okay. Let's continue. Let's not leave this other guy off the hook just yet, though. Well, hold on. Okay. Let's continue. I'm a little sus about this guy already. <laughs> like, putting names on containers and drinking all the milk. 
okay. both of those together is kind of okay but well, listen listen okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, my roommates the other the one that carpools with him has also had similar prop similar 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 <laughs> problems <laughs> But not as often as I do. I'm guessing because R doesn't like what he buys. The funny thing is R buys a lot for himself and is even more stingy about his food. He will literally point out that he, that what he's, he will literally point out what his, what's his when he comes, oh, like what his is. When he comes back from the grocery shopping and tells us not to touch it. That was really confusing to read. I have no idea why. <laughs> Last week, my milk nearly empty again and I got fed up. I went to the liquor store and bought regular dairy milk. I drank what was left on my almond milk and refilled the gallon with the one I bought. This was... To catch and prove R is the one stealing since he's lactose intolerant. So he went to the liquor store and he bought regular milk to fill up in his almond jug. Wait, did he also buy liquor there? Yeah. Oh. Okay. No, so like he went to the liquor store and bought liquor. Yeah. And he also went to the store and bought regular milk. Okay, yeah. And I think mixed. Oh, mixed. Volume. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> The next day, Saturday, we got back from work and R is pissed. He yelled at me that he was stuck in the bathroom for 40 minutes with diarrhea because of my milk. He was using it to make a shake. I only responded with, so then you're the one who's been stealing. He freaking exploded. Yeah, he admitted he was sometimes drinking my milk and eating my food, but he was more mad that I switched milks than the fact that he was caught. I told him I wouldn't have done that if he'd just stopped taking my stuff from the fridge or at least told the truth instead of trying to make it seem like I was making it up. My roommate backed me up and thought it was kind of funny. He got payback for stealing from us. It's it's a little tense right now and my roommate <laughs> told me R is trying to convince him to agree to kick me out. Little does he know we're both looking to move somewhere else together because we are sick of his crap. And then it says, I told some buddies what happened and a few think I am the asshole for that. I feel like I'm not in the wrong here. He was taking my food and not even owning up to it. And I wanted to prove it. Does that make me <laughs> What do you think? Okay, you've had guy roommates. <laughs> yeah. Did you, uh, like, share food? Like, did you have your own stuff? Did you label it? Like, what was that scenario so like? So, I had about, at any given moment, I had five roommates. We would all share our food, like, relatively. We would all buy our own ingredients. But if we needed something from one another, we'd be like, hey, bro, can I borrow some of this? But sure, you'd ask. No problem, but you'd ask. Like, it wasn't no sneakiness. Oh, wait a second. What? Wait what? a second. Hold your horse. <laughs> I wasn't going to name names. Oh. <laughs> just bleep it out. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We'll just bleep that out. Anyways. Yeah. One of my buddies was pretty sus that one of our roommates was stealing his food. And that guy never owned up to it. But to this day, one of my roommates, it swears on his life that... He um, did this it. other guy was, I oh. think, drinking his something. No, no, it was cheesecake. I think he got like a slice of cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory and his little roommate ate it. No. And my buddy was just pissed. He was so mad. Honestly, that's the worst when you have a leftover yeah. and you're too full and you're like, oh, but I know this is going to be so good. Oh. And you like maybe have it as a reward or whatever. And you come back and it's gone. Yeah. That is he seriously was so the mad. worst. And so in this situation, was the guy who like switched the milk? The milk swap guy. The milk swap guy. Was he an asshole for doing that? Or was it kind of like you you got what you got? Like that's that's on you. <clears throat> I don't think he was. You think the room roommate deserved it? The R. The R guy deserved it. Deserved is a hard word. 
I don't know if like he deserved to get sick, but I'm like, if I was the narrator, I'd be like, well, dude, you should have told me then. Yeah, that was a little drastic measure to give his roommate something he knew he was allergic to. That's the only, that's the only thing I could see Smug being like, oh no, you're that asshole because you gave him milk. That's the only reason I, I could see. I don't think that's a problem though. Yeah. Like, I think he had every right to switch that milk. That was his milk. Yeah. Like, everyone in that household knows that it was his milk. Yeah. And the fact that his roommate got mad at him, like, he has no place to get mad at him no. for that. No. No. I think he was in the right. Like, just go buy some more milk. Like, Speaking of, we need to take a break and go into our segment of trying our brunch item for the week. How is that a segue? Um... I don't know. Maybe we're using milk this week or something. Yeah, speaking of. <laughs> yeah, that's just kind of fair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enjoy this segment of The Table. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to The Table. As you can see for our beautiful brunch item we have today, we are having not just any protein shake. We I'm are scared. having... A Chinese chocolate peanut butter protein shake. Why Chinese? Because these cups are made in China. Oh. And so Chinese that's, chocolate that's how you butter. name recipes. Interesting. So Chinese chocolate and peanut butter <laughs> protein shake. Is there oatmeal in this? Or literally yeah, that's okay. It? Guys, so this, pro let me just talk this up. <laughs> this protein shake is amazing if you're trying to bulk, put on weight, muscle, um so i i usually drink a full thing of this by split it into two for rin and i to both try there's now i'm i'm kind of lactose intolerant so Self, yeah. self-diagnosed i almost threw up today from eating too much ice cream and so instead of milk i add water but most people can add milk chocolate protein powder peanut butter oats one frozen banana and um Greek yogurt, just plain. Ooh. Raymond also can't have whey protein because it also, he you get heartburn, right? No, I, I will throw up. You will throw up? Anything whey, dairy, I will throw up wow. if I have too much. Are we going to try this? We are going to try Should this. Should we cheers? Let, let's, let's clink. Okay. <laughs> Raymond always gets scared of my clink. Well, she tries to headbutt me with that same aggression too. Yes. Yeah. You ready? These are glass. Yeah, they are. Wow, that's thick. <laughs> so, I made this about 15 minutes ago, and all the old mill has absorbed the moisture. That so, is it's so like thick. sucking a golf ball through a hose on this one. Okay, but it honestly doesn't taste bad. You know what it tastes like? Hmm. A Snickers bar. Ooh. It tastes like a Snickers bar. Mm -hmm. Texture is weird. Yeah. You have to drink like it right away. <laughs> yeah. It's a little lukewarm. It is a little lukewarm. Yeah. But the key with this is using a frozen banana. Mm. Because if you use a room temperature banana, even a fridge banana, it's not going to give you a little cold, icy texture. And so definitely freeze your Ooh. bananas. That's good. Yeah. Do you add ice cubes in it? You can if you want to, but I usually, I used to drink this every morning. Now I drink it every night with the oatmeal to keep my body full throughout the night and ready to go in the morning. Um, That's not bad. I feel like I have to like eat it. Like I have to crunch it. Yeah. Again, you true. drink this right away. <laughs> like, don't let it sit. <laughs> It's not an overnight protein shake. Okay, honestly, I would give this an 8 out of 10. Oh, wow. Yeah. Honestly, it's just like the texture thing for me and the thickness. But yeah. taste-wise, that is really good. Yeah, no, that's the thing. This is great. And as far as the macronutrients go, I don't have the exact nutrients, but I will be making – we will be making a short about how to make this and the exact macronutrients. Mm -hmm. But I believe it's a little over 500 calories for both these put together. And it's almost so for me not having dairy 
and whey, it is almost 40 grams of protein. But if you can have dairy, it will be over 50 grams of protein. What about whey? Yeah, so if you can have and milk whey and whey, it'll be over 50 grams. Wow. With me, since I can't, it's a, I think it's like 40 or a little under. But no, this is great. Like I said, if you're trying to put on some muscle, bulk up a little bit, it's quick, it's easy, it tastes oh, great, and gets your calories in. Yeah, I feel like quick, easy, on the go. What would you rate it, this specific Ooh, this specific one, I think an 8 out of 10 is a good rating. Yeah? Just because the texture yeah. is a little off, it's so thick right now. Yeah. But the taste is great. I've been drinking this for years, and it hasn't, hasn't gotten old yet. Oh, it's good. Yeah. Love it. So. Should we cheers out of this thing? Let's cheers out of this thing. Ready? All righty. Thank you for enjoying that part of this video. <laughs> Delicious brunch Delicious item. Delicious brunch item that we have not had yet. But it was it was great. <laughs> or it was bad. One of the two. But anyways, we're going to move on to our next story of Was I the Asshole? Okay. This one is called The Re-Gift Shamer. <laughs> so this, I think it's a girl. Like, it are, is a are these, woman. Are all these women? Maybe. Her, she, they, them. It. It. Okay. So she begins as saying, my family does a gift exchange drawing each year for Christmas. We all reach into a bowl and pull out a name on a slip of paper. That is, that is the person for whom we are going to buy a gift for, for the big Christmas get together. I honestly hate this ritual as it is a bundle of stress to find something for someone you barely know, but we do it because the family always has. So is this like her in-laws? No, listen. Family? So when I first read this, I was like, oh, okay, like this must be like, I don't know. When she said like people I barely know, yeah. I'm thinking like in-laws. Listen to who she gets. This is like a massive Okay. Family gift exchange. <laughs> like, if okay. I did this, I would feel the same way. In 2019, I don't know why she put the date, but in 2019, I drew the 60 year old husband of my great aunt. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's a gift exchange. Please comment if you do a gift exchange with your like huge family outside your, great aunt. your parents and siblings yeah or even in-laws children yeah you know like say like if like our i have son... a i have a sibling one we don't have like we only have one child yeah. so we only give like gifts so, yeah your family so my does family one. does one where it's all the siblings and their kids so my yeah. brothers my older brothers and sisters and their kids and then and your parents my parents so but it's not like aunt, uncles, cousins. No. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm no. if you're close, I'm sure that's fun. But it's awkward. Like if this girl is like great aunt, who even knows 20? their great aunts? I don't know my great aunts. What is a great aunt? What is a great aunt? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Do I even have a great aunt? I don't know. Your great aunt's probably listening. It's like, wait a minute, how dare you not know who I am? She probably doesn't know my name. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's move on. Move on. So she gets her great aunt's husband. I knew <laughs> I knew he and my great aunt were very well off and really neither wanted and really neither wanted nor needed anything. So they didn't want anything or need anything because they're rich, basically. I knew also that the budget we had for gifts of fifty dollars max was not going to get him anything within his or her taste level. Okay, that's like a high max. Let's just put that out there. For one person? Because she only had him. Yeah, it's a high max. That my is max a high was max. like 30. Yeah. Went up, you know, you know how like your rent increases each year? Like, oh gosh. You know, our gift exchange rent was increased from like 20 to 30 this year. And I was like, oh my gosh. Crazy. Yeah. Okay, what's kind of fun, just a little side note. That my family did when I was younger, but my siblings and I have started to do this, is during your gift exchange, 
you have like a theme. So when I was younger, it was like, okay, everyone exchanges names, but you're getting, everyone gets a movie. So you get to pick out a movie, like a DVD or VHS or whatever <laughs> time period that was. But like now this year, my brothers and I, we exchanged ornaments, Christmas ornaments. Yeah. So it's not like a set price because everyone's different where they're at financially. Everyone either loves giving gifts or it's kind of like, eh. And especially that time of year, you don't want to think about another thing like oh to get a There's person. So many, There's so, so many, many people like, hey, let's do a gift exchange for this. Oh, no one for this. And it's just like. It's just hectic. Like, and so like having you know. a category, like a Christmas ornament, you can <laughs> still be creative and make it personalized. Like whether it's funny or like sweet or sentimental. And so it's still like your own, but you don't have to think of like this whole broad variety of what am I going to get this person? Cause you know, okay, at least it's going to be a Christmas ornament. Right. Or I think next year we're doing advent calendars or just like, you can make it really fun. Yeah. You can make it super fun. So anyways, that's an idea to help solve this problem. If you're like worried about people not knowing people or even just less stress levels. That's my two cents. Side note. Let's Thank get you, Ren, for your two cents. <laughs> back to the story <laughs> back to you okay um okay 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 she knew the budget was fifty dollars yeah he wouldn't want anything in that price range since he did a lot of driving for his work i found him a rather expensive set of tools to keep in his car trunk should he need them he opened them during the party seemed appreciative and thanks me. Wait, party? Does, so, so all these family members are getting together. At a party? Well, how about they mail them? Yeah, they mail them. <laughs> exactly. No, they get together. Wow. Okay, so that was in 2019. I think this is like three years later. This past Christmas, I saw my gift was from my great aunt. When I opened it, I immediately recognized the tool set I had given him three years before. Ooh. Even the tape I had put on part of a torn label was there. I paused, broke into a big smile, and excitedly exclaimed that this was incredible as when I bought her husband a set three years ago. I had wanted to get a set for myself as well, but the store had told me that the set was discontinued and no longer available. She's saying this out loud to the whole party. Oh. I gushed <laughs> that she must have gone to a lot of trouble to find one just like the one I had given him three years ago. Yes, I mentioned giving it to giving him a set three years ago many times. <laughs> I then made a big show of running over, hugging her, and saying thank you. She and he just had odd smiles frozen on their faces. See, my great aunt has a reputation whispered behind her back of being incredibly cheap and re-gifting most of what she receives. All the relatives had just witnessed me make a big production out of this one instance. My mom later took me aside and chastised me for what I did as my great aunt was visibly embarrassed and had left very soon after the gift exchange. <laughs> I just looked at her and instantly asked what I did, what, or what I did that was wrong. Asked what I did, what was, wow. She asked what she did, what she did was wrong. She asked... Right. What did I do wrong? What did I? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is wrong? By thanking her for the gift, I really wanted. So was I out of line? Was she the <laughs> asshole? <laughs> That's actually really hard. Yeah. Knowing. Because that honestly, like that guy is a little petty. That is petty. Like going, making it out of your effort to mention like, oh, I gave him this three years ago and like making up the story. It sounds like she didn't actually want that for herself. Yeah. Um, she didn't want that for herself. And to say like, I went back to the store and they said it was discontinued and you went out of your way to find the exact one. Yeah. Like, 
that's a little bit like just extreme. Well, she thought it out. Like she was like, oh, he drives. Like yeah. this will be a nice gift. The fact that they re-gift. Here's the thing though. Even if you don't know everyone's situation. Like she said, my aunt, my great aunt and uncle are well off. You don't know that. Like, I feel like sometimes you yeah. you look at people and you're like, wow, they're so well off. They have this, this, this. You don't really know what's going on. <clears throat> they could be in loads of debt or they could just put on a front. Well, you know, you don't know what's the, going on behind the scenes. Some of the wealthiest people I know, like, as you know, like some of the wealthiest, like, grown men I know just dress like dads. Straight up just dads. Like they don't show like, that they're wealthy. They don't show that they're wealthy. But they're actually like millionaires. So you're, th- and so like, so you, you, it goes the opposite way too. Okay. People could be dressing up like they're wealthy, millionaires, wealthy, but or have the stuff, struggling, you know. Yeah. yeah. So even, but what I'm saying is like, even though you think that they're wealthy and they might not be, three years later, they had to have remembered they got the gift from her. Right? Yeah. Like, couldn't you have picked like a different re-gifting item? Yeah. Or like something? <laughs> yeah, maybe they're just so petty they forgot who gave Or them like that they're reason. just well, they're only yeah. like sixty. Yeah, but sixty three. Yeah. I don't know. I anyway, don't know the whole my, story. My problem with her is she embarrassed them in front of everyone. When honestly, she could have said that exact same thing to that aunt and the husband in private. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, in front of my everyone. thing is, like, they didn't embarrass her publicly. They just, you know. Well, and especially whatever. the way that, like, the husband took the gift. Like, when he first received it, like, yeah, maybe it wasn't what he wanted, but he was appreciative of yeah. it. And she could have just, obviously, yes. We don't know all the behind scenes, yeah. but I think it was immature. And yeah. just kind of, like, like you said, petty. Like, I understand. To make a big deal. Totally understand you know, her doing that, but yeah. she could have handled it a lot differently. So if I would say anyone's an asshole, maybe I honestly, I would go for her. Yeah. But I, I don't like actually right. think she is an asshole for doing that. I just think the she handled that a little Im- immature and she could have just said those exact same words just in private to them. She was out of the line. Yeah. Instead yeah. of like literally embarrassing them from the whole entire family. You yeah. Know, just showing like a little more respect, a little more dignity. Have you ever done that? Have you like ever embarrassed or no, like so... gone over the top of like a gift of like, I love it so much, blah, 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 where it's like, wow, you are faking that. Maybe not in no, that same that's... situation, but like, have you ever done that with a gift? No, like that's just like completely, I think it's like disrespectful and again, immature. So no. No. Have you? Yeah, this past week when you gave me all my birthday presents. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, Raymond is really good at giving gifts. <coughs> He's so sweet. He yes. actually, for my birthday, he contacted so many people that have been in my life, that have impacted my life so much. Yeah. Not, not everyone. So if you're watching this, you're like, wait, Ray didn't contact me. I didn't contact everyone because I kind of ran out of time and it was a lot. So if I didn't contact you, I'll probably contact you next year. Or contact us. Yeah. Or I'll contact you next year. Or he'll contact you. But (laughs) yeah, he reached out and asked those people to write me a letter and to say how much they love me, like just some memories that we've had. And then he took all of that and typed them out and made it into a book. Yeah. Yeah. Into a this little. so sweet. And not even that is that there was what, 84 people? Yeah. 84 people. It's wild. I didn't even know that I knew that many people, <laughs> let alone they all cared about me. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I just wanted the thought with that is actually, I had this idea last year. But it was too late at that point, so I hold, held on to it for this year. I just want Ren to remember that she is loved. Because sometimes we all forget that we're loved and appreciated by people. Mm-hmm. So Ren is really special, but let's just remember, like, we're all special. You know, we're all loved. But 
But yeah, but I'm the Varen's best like really ever. special <laughs> and really loved, and you just need to remember that. You're so nice. Yeah. That's so sweet. Of course. Okay, let us know if you disagree with us on yeah. these stories. Because, like, it's not like we want to argue, but we also want to get other people's perspectives. Yeah. And so let us know if you disagree with some of that, shoot us a message, be like, hey, I think you're wrong, and this other person is that because of this. Like, let us know. Or if you have any experiences oh, yeah. that you're questioning, if you were out of line, if you were that that would be so fun if you guys had oh any because then it's more real yes. it's not just from reddit <laughs> that could just be made up <laughs> yeah that would be a fun one yeah. because in our last podcast we did an episode about funny and embarrassing stories and we got some good ones from some people so we hope you all have a great week also real quick <laughs> <coughs> great great extra bay, but we got real quick what? We have a shout out to my cousin Joseph. Oh my gosh. Joseph, Joseph Dane. Joseph Dane. Come on up here, buddy. Come on up. Come Gotta give right a little here. shout out to him for in our first episode, we asked you guys to let us know some of your news resolutions and stuff and uh, your feedback. And Joseph was the first one to reach out to us. Let us know about that he set some resolutions and just gave us some good feedback. So I want to give him a shout out. You know, thanks for talking with us and engaging. In thanks for listening. Stuff. Sticking to it. Yeah. Putting up with all of our shenanigans. Yeah. We'll have to get him on here one day. Oh, seriously. Joseph, you're coming. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Anyways, we'll catch you on the next one for real this time. For real this time. See ya.